Today we're going to be looking at the 2017 January Gold question, Hoof, Paper, Scissors. So, in the Gold version of the question, Bessie is still playing end games with Elsie of Hoof, Paper, Scissors. So, what's going to happen is Bessie is going to be able to have K swaps or K gestures that she can switch to throughout the game. So, what's going to happen is we're going to have end games, and in these end games, Bessie can only switch her move K times. So again, we get Elsie's moves, and we want to find the maximum number of games Bessie can win. So the algorithm we're gonna be using for this question is going to be dynamic programming or DP. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold a three-dimensional DP. We're gonna have the first dimension be the current game we're on. So this is going to be size N. The second dimension is going to be the number of swaps we've made. So this is gonna be size K. And then the third dimension, size three, is going to be the current value we're holding. So hoof, paper, or scissors. So what I'm actually gonna do is let's let's play out an example. Let's, end, let's assume I'm working on DP three, two, and then hoof. So what this means is I'm currently on game three. I've made two swaps, and the current move that Bessie is playing is gonna be hoof. So I have two choices for this spot. The first choice is I'm going to assume that the last round I already did hoof. What this means is that since the last round I already did hoof, I can assume I'm not gonna make any more swaps. So I can just assume the last round I did two swaps. So in that case, what I would have is I would have DP 2-2 because I'm assuming the last game was game two. I had two swaps. And then I'm going to say H, because since we didn't add any swaps, I can assume the last round we did the same move. So the other main option is just going to be swapping. So if I swapped, what this would be is it would be DP, 2, and then 1, because I'm going to assume I need to make a new move. And then this would either be paper or scissors. So in this way, we can basically loop through every game, we can then loop through all of the swaps, and then finally loop through H, P, and S in order to find the maximum value of each one. And then at the very end, we're just going to see DP. If it, in this case, we're going to be using one based. So we're going to say DP, N, K, and then we're going to find the maximum value of either H, P, or S. So let's go look at the code. I have the code set up here, so the basic stuff you need to know so far is I have long long type def as ll, which just basically means this means long long. I have my maximum value, I've created a list to contain Elsie's moves, and I've defined three values, hoof, paper, and scissors. So what these macros basically mean is when I use hoof, so if I have equals hoof down here, that basically just means I'm writing z zero. So this will make it easier to read, but it doesn't actually change anything about the program. So down here, I'm going to read in the input. So I'm going to have for i in range, and then I'm just going to give the corresponding values. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the dp. So again, this is a three-dimensional dp. It's going to be n, k, and then 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my answer as 0. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loop through. So in this case, I'm actually going to put k as k plus 2, because not only is this one based, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to assume that I've already done k swaps at my current location. So what this basically means is that by the end, I want to have already done at most k swaps. So I'm just going to take that value and I'm just going to make it k plus 2. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to iterate through the three options. So I'm just going to hard code this. I'm going to have, I'm going to basically do two things. I'm going to have a function called add one. And what this is going to do is I'm going to assume my current move is hoof. And I'm just going to look in Elsie's moves. So the current index is I, game I. And I'm going to see whether or not I can beat Elsie with the move hoof. So let's code this function really quickly. What it's going to be is I'm just going to check 
if the winning moves work. So I'm going to have A and B as A as my move and then B as Elsie's move index. And I'm just going to check. So if I'm hoof and she's scissors, I win. I'm scissors, she's paper, I win, and so on. So it's going to return 1 in the three cases I win and 0 in the cases I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create the value of add 1. And then I'm just going to do my DP and update my DP state. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have DPI J hoof is going to be the maximum of the two options. So the first option, again, is just going to be that I don't do any new swaps. So I'm just going to continue on with J swaps and then the current move of hoof. Or I'm going to change. So if I change it, I'm just going to go J minus 1. And I'm going to go paper and scissors because those are the other two options I could change it to. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing for the other two moves. So I'm going to do add one. I'm going to do paper is going to be the max of paper with J or hoof and scissors with J minus one. I'm going to do the same thing with scissors. And then I'm going to just say at the end, if I is equal to N, I'm going to make my answer the max of answer and the current value. So at the very end, I'm just going to return my answer. And that's the end of our program.